Hi you guys, welcome to this pick a card reading. So I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys in regards to this full moon in Aries that's going exact. I believe on Sunday, I'm recording this on Friday. All right, so this is the card selection that I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. We have card one, card two, and card three. I'll have the timestamps in the description box for you. And I'll see you guys at your reading. Bye. Oh, wait. I'll give you a second <laughs> to pick your card. I love when people tell me I look good when literally, like, <laughs> I just woke up like this. <laughs> literally pile one card one if you guys chose card one here is all the good stuff and let's see what card you guys chose okay so you guys got safe travel so this is definitely your pile if you're traveling right now currently this is definitely your pile if you've been um thinking about traveling if traveling is just like your soul part like it's just like you just feel called to travel this is definitely your um reading okay maybe specifically you guys i'm seeing you travel like during this full moon time or this full moon is maybe i don't know i feel like you've been manifesting this though it's not just going to be random i feel like maybe this full moon you're actually going to get um presented with an opportunity to travel um if you guys already have been presented with an opportunity to travel, this is a yes omen, okay? And we have the number 22 here. Your birthday could be on the 22nd. You could have a life path number four or two. Um, you could be 22 years old. This card says, keep me safe and let me roam. Far away, but bring me home. My cat is just trying to get all in the business. This is Loki. Trust your intuition, pile number one. Okay, and goodbye. Low key. You freaking brought like your slob or whatever over here. Okay, let's see the overall energy um, with you. Okay, we have the lilies. Again, with this traveling thing, okay? If you guys are being offered to travel this is going to be very abundant for you you are actually going to like you guys might only be presented with like traveling or like living with somewhere for like a, a short amount of time but i'm actually you seeing you're actually going to end up staying there for a long amount of time some of you guys might be like visiting um your grandparents okay definitely do that all right, let's see. Okay, so the lilies being your overall energy, besides the traveling though, I'm seeing you, you're growing, you're evolving, you're becoming very wise. Also, there's something with um, grandparents or your elders. Um, you could be very close to them. If any of them have passed away, they guide you every single day, okay? They love you, they want you to be doing good. They could be, They could be the ones nudging you to travel here. Let's see your spirit animal. We have the crow. And the crow is connected to like the divine. Um, so if you guys have been seeing crows, I feel like that could be someone that has um, passed away from you. This is getting specific. Let's see what the crow spirit animal is all about. And my handy dandy brook. Give me one second, pile one. Where is the crow? Okay, we have the crow. So the crow is about being spiritually strong, it's creative, and it's watchful. The crow has long been a symbol of magic. A crow personality is drawn to the supernatural and has a gift for seeing the unseen, knowing the unknown. It is said that the crow holds within its mind's eye the three realities, past, present, and future. Okay, so you're very intuitive at this time. You just have an all, you just have this all-knowing, okay? Pisces energy, you, could, you guys could have Pisces in your chart, um, Cancer or Scorpio as well. Um, but, okay, let's continue. Crow energy is potent and should only be tapped into when the mind is clear. 
Those with crow tendencies must balance their lives with a healthy diet, joyful friends, and regular self-study. I love that. This is very important for you to, if you've been, you know, like just feeling more, I'm um, getting Virgo energy on a like hermit, hermit mode. You've just been feeling more needing to be in solitude and isolation. This is going to help you. Okay, and meditation is going to help you as well. When this energy is in balance, it's psychic, strong, and clear. When out of balance, it's ungrounded, ungrounded, and hypersensitive. Okay, you guys could have Earth in your chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. To bring into balance, daily meditation practice. Yes, that's what I said. I just said that intuitively. But yes, okay, Pile 1, let's continue. Let's continue with this reading. I'm liking this energy. I feel like you guys could be really, um, again, tapping more into, in, into your intuition. But this is like, I feel like you're going through a spiritual awakening. Okay. Um, your psychic abilities heightened at this time. And being more aware of the power you hold. We have confusion. Yes, that makes so much sense. Because this is your highest chakra. This is crown chakra. And when you're tapped into this energy like... But you know, though, you know the unknown, even though you may not be able to see things in your reality, there's just an all knowing you have trust that that is your intuition and things can be very confusing in your reality. But that's just because you're on a higher level, you're you're raising your vibration, you're on a very high frequency. So you can be even getting dizzy or your vision could even be blurred. Make sure that you're drinking your water, you're eating. Eating, eating, eating could be very helpful for you. Just eat, okay? You could be someone who doesn't even eat a lot. So this is just going to help you eat, you know, whole foods, healthy things. But I know for me, like, I could never overeat because I barely eat enough as it is. So, um, yeah, um, any grounding, any grounding techniques, okay? Walk, being more out in nature, walking barefoot, eating, okay? Luxuries, buying yourself nice, nice things, working staying you know practical gardening using your hands being crafty there's a bunch of grounding okay we have wisdom beautiful yes you're gaining so much wisdom at this time pile one this full moon is just this is the energy so yes it's very heightened energy okay we have two can play that game so uh, I feel like you could have been triggered by a, a lover, a family member, but two can play that game and you're connected to the infinite here like and karma forgets no one. So I feel like, I don't know, someone may have triggered you to go and like to really like, it's like someone played you for a joke. So like, it's, okay, someone's playing the game, but it's like, you, okay, I can play the, I can play the game too. We have angel of self-worth. You are currently undervaluing yourself. It is time to regain your self-worth. I, I feel like you allowed, like you let how someone treated you to kind of define your self-worth. And so I feel like that that is where this is coming from. And so I feel like whoever you are dealing with, you know, um, take that as a blessing because you're just becoming more better, more greater, more smarter, more good looking. So you're really regaining your self-worth um under this full moon energy in aries and aries is a fire sign it's all about action this is yang energy so the more you're doing at this time the better you're going to become we have the two of wands making a decision again that's that aries energy okay forward action moving the world is in your hands where do you want to go we have the five of pentacles leaving um ooh, and then we have the two of cups so yes Someone may have chose elsewhere, quote unquote. Um, I, I tend that I tend to find that that's usually the masculine energy that's always running. A runner, we have a runner, but I do see you guys reconciling. I do see that. If you don't want to reconcile with this person, I'm seeing someone completely new come into your energy. I'm also seeing again a partnership. I'm seeing you aligning with your soul's purpose here with this energy, and we have two two here. The number 22 is very significant for you guys. Something significant could be happening on October 22nd. Mark your calendars on that date.
it's interesting how these cards are lined up. If, if you guys are, are um, wanting a reconciliation after literally being left in the cold, after literally being left for just nothing here, you guys are just like, you guys are just going to be led ex right back to each other because things are changing in how you move and how you think. Okay, you're taking your power back and so in that way everything in alignment is going to come towards you in the future i'm truly seeing that for you um pile one it is it is happening okay stay focused on yourself okay this this angel of self-worth you're really needing to step into your power at this time because with the the blockage here is your own confidence and your own um yeah you're undervaluing yourself. You need to regain your self-worth. So that's really um, the takeaway from this. Um, I'm going to clarify the cards just to see if we can get um, any more guidance and clarity for you. But other than that, this is your reading, Pile 1. I hope you did enjoy it. So let's clarify the Two of Wands for Pile 1. Clarify the Two of Wands for Pile 1. Let me just shuffle like once because I don't know when I shuffle these. Clarify the two of wands for pile one, please. Clarify the two of wands. What is this two of wands? What is this decision? What's this forward movement? We have the fool. Beautiful. Making the decision to step into a new timeline. New energy new risks new faith new encouragement new empowerment just new energy new timelines okay stepping into a new timeline pile one i love that for you knight of pentacles needing to be consistent and dependable for yourself no matter who left you behind because everything like like we often feel I know I often feel when something happens to me where it's like I'm dealing with someone else and I feel like they treat me they treated me or the situation poorly I often feel like fuck why do I always get the short end of the stick that's not the case that's not the case it's like you don't have eyes in the back of your head <laughs> but it's funny pile one because I feel like you actually do but this is your intuition this is your intuition that you can Okay, so now I'm getting the two can play at that game. This is your intuition that you can trust that the divine has your back. That your ancestors, your guides, your 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 loved ones that are in heaven that have passed on, like like you how how do you think people get their karma? You know, the divine is absolute and karma forgets no one. If someone treated you poorly with the five of pentacles, if someone just you know people can only meet you as far as they met themselves so maybe as much as you weren't really valuing yourself in this relationship maybe they weren't as well and so but that's all coming to light now because you're reclaiming your power you're being consistent for yourself. You're moving on for yourself. No matter, it, no matter, you know, it's like if this person is meant for you, they'll come back. And if they're not, cool. You know, whatever it is, I'm good. And so that's what's happening here. And both parties are going, going through um, judgment. The divine is calling judgment on the situation. Things are going to shift. Things are going to shift. If, if this person is not meant for you, they're not going to be there. And if they are, they're going to be there. There's multiple people watching this. So I don't want to say, I'm not really getting, I'm, I'm getting kind of both both energies. That's why I said even in the beginning, what do you want? You're, you're the manifester. You're the creator. But let's clarify this um, two of cups here. Okay, again, very much connected to your intuition, Pisces energy, Scorpio energy here. Um, clarify the two of cups for me, please. What is this two of cups about? Moving forward, and you know, it's going to take time. You're going to have to move through these emotions. You are. The, the, the Time is your friend, though. Okay? Time is your friend. Optimism is your friend. We have the page of cups reversed. Okay? Um, 
so I am getting more of a kind of a reconciliation someone who didn't have there you know just someone who was immature in the past someone who needs to apologize someone who may have you know gave their attention time efforts money love elsewhere but um you know that's in the past that's a lower vibration that's not truly who this person is you know um so three of swords reverse needing to heal okay needing to heal from negative thought processes in regards to love in regards to how you value yourself all right i am going to leave you here let's get a moonology oracle to wrap this beautiful reading up pile one let me know that you guys chose card one safe travel okay and i'm praying safe travel for you as well um of course um this could be traveling timelines okay this could be traveling timelines wow i'm gonna start saying that okay to safe travel oh this could be taking a trip okay this could be taking a trip on psychedelic safe travel all right oh my gosh pile one this this is giving me energy it's also making me tired <laughs> I need to eat, that's why. Okay, we have Capricorn energy. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Ooh, look at this. Beautiful. I didn't even see that. And we have a new start is coming. New moon energy. This this full moon and then leading up to the next new moon is significant changes happening for you. Okay, and we have this full moon card in Capricorn. Okay, so I love that. Love that for you. You could have Capricorn in your chart or be dealing with the Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn energy is all about hard work. It's all about experiencing struggle. Okay. All right. Hi, you guys. If you guys chose the second card, I did get a sneak peek into this card because I don't know why, but oh my gosh, look. If you guys chose the second card, you guys chose the romance card and i'm just getting like such a good energy about it like who doesn't love love like you love love and guess what love is coming to you okay we have romance with the number 23 and that's interesting because pile one was 22 y'all are 23 i like the chronolo chronolo chronology of that anyway <laughs> 23 could be significant for you the october 23rd could be significant for you mark that date could be 23 years old it could be life path number five two or three um okay could have a birthday on the 23rd we have romance it is a sacred power let it come to me this hour so i feel like you guys have been manifesting a true love a perfect love so let's get into it. Let's get into the overall energy for you, Pile 2, in regards to this full moon in Aries. We have the key as your overall energy. You're unlocking the keys to your heart, to someone's heart. You may have the key to someone's heart. Wow, this is beautiful. Like, I'm, I truly believe, like, like, yes, we have different, you know, I yes, I, I, I believe, okay. I believe in twin flames and I believe everyone doesn't have a twin flame. I also believe even if you don't have a twin flame that you can have multiple soulmates but there's only one person that's made for you. Like there's only one person that you're going to have kids with. There's only one person that you're going to spend majority of you know like your adult life with and build. There's only one king and one queen. There's only one person you're going to have an empire with. I'm seeing 1212. 12. Okay you could be seeing that number what's 12 in the tarot the hangman could be going through a huge transformation a huge spiritual awakening you could be definitely um in a twin flame connection but no matter that you are unlocking um key vital information in regards to just your soul's purpose and how you give and receive love venus energy you could have libra or taurus in your chart okay you're getting information you could be I'm, I'm getting like telepathy you could be you know telepathy is real 
um you could be you know connecting to your counterpart right now even if you guys are in separation or maybe if you don't even know this person like okay i'm just getting you you like you guys are already connected on you know on the spiritual realm okay on the 5d let's get more into it loki move move your spirit animal is the dolphin let's see what the dolphin is all about this is a very rare energy with the dolphin let's see we have the dolphin innately intelligent okay we have healer light and blessings okay the gifts of the dolphin are beyond what our human minds can grasp dolphin personalities are often draw to, drawn to the healing arts as they are sensitive to the subtle and enjoy working on the level of spirit it's easy for dolphin types to underestimate the impact they make in the world these creatures play such an important role in the wheel of karma that coming in contact with the dolphin type will change the entire course of your day and thus your life this card can also indicate a profound blessing is on the way beauty Oh, you've unlocked the keys to just who you are to your potential to love the strongest force in the universe very divine i'm definitely getting you're definitely a i don't know what term you like to um i don't know what term specifically you maybe like to um identify with star seed twin flame healer light worker you know stop but I feel like you're definitely, um, your energy is definitely very unique and it stands out from the rest. Very much a lion, not a sheep. Okay, I'm talking to someone who is awake, who is awakening with that 12, that Pisces energy, definitely um, on a huge spiritual awakening. Okay, when this energy is in balance, you're an active healer and has a strong spiritual practice. Love that. When out of balance, it underestimates your um, own power. All right, to bring into balance like-minded spirits. All right. Hi, Mike. Welcome. I'm gonna take a sip of water and then get into your reading pile too. Or get more into your reading. So we have trickery, interesting. They they don't want you to win they don't want you to step into your power they don't because it, it's it's i don't know i don't know why but they're haters they're this is people living from their ego people you know having unhealthy energy low vibe this is low vibing okay don't pay attention to okay um people that you just don't get a good vibe from okay you're on a you're on a high vibration pile too there's people around you who are not on that same vibration there's people around you who don't want you to do better than them even though it's like who like who will do better than that has nothing to do with me why do you want to bring me down because i'm doing good no thank you this could be the closest person to you that you're needing to release or closest people to you that are not on they don't they're not um uh they're not telling you things or doing things that would be in your best interest all right so be careful for this be careful for these people i am going to clarify that in a little bit we have luxury these people are mad i don't know if you already are living this type of lifestyle you already like have everything piled to you're you're doing good in the material world but you're just missing that romance in your life okay so um that could be one thing and there's people around you who are only in your energy because you have nice things or maybe that's the type of relationships um you've been in there in the past also you are destined to have a very luxurious lifestyle like i said in the beginning venus energy especially taurus energy i'm picking up but i already said that right you could have libra or, or taurus in your chart but yes i'm picking up um taurus energy also earth energy virgo capricorn you know earthly 
earthly pleasures, earthly abundance, earthly luxuriousness. You are destined to have a luxury, a, a life of luxury, and 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 hold yourself to that vibration now even if you only have a few items to your name that's okay they're they're gonna get blessed and multiplied because that's just who you are and what you're destined to have okay look we have you're almost there we have you're almost there and then oh my gosh and then we have wishy washy ho coming out i did not see that card in the pre-shuffle that is so funny or when i pulled these cards out i this one this one was on on top i saw that one but this one was under it. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. You got wishy-washy hoes around you, pile two. That's why you're manifesting better for yourself. That's why you've been doing the work and you are going to get blessed. I don't know. I feel like there is people or someone in particular that you are needing to cut off. This is the energies you've been dealing with in the past and you're moving away from that, okay? Also, if you are, if you are still have these energies around you, you can't still entertain this these wishy-washy hoes <laughs> and expect to um, bring bring your true love into the picture, right? We have to discard and okay uh, disintegrate our old life when we're wanting to attract new things, especially when it comes to love and romance. Woo, that got spicy. We have angel of soul love. Time to look at how you value yourself. Issues of self-love. I love that. I feel like you're aware of that. And I feel like, you know, you could be having these people in your energy because they, um, like they, uh, boost your ego or they comfort your ego. But we're moving away from our ego when we're stepping into our soul, right? That's what's happening. Okay, we have angel of support. The universe has heard your silent call for help. All right, let's get into the tarot. We have the ace of swords, clarity coming your way. Clarity, truth, a breakthrough. We have the three of swords reverse because you're healing and you're, you're coming into oneness with the one truth. The ace of swords, there's only one truth. The ace of swords is my favorite sword card. There's only one truth. Okay, abiding by that it's a double-edged sword though so there are different perspectives but there's only one truth we have the strength card reversed leo energy and then we have the eight of wands beautiful the eight of wands is cupid arrows what's going to um like what's going to be the catalyst to your romantic life really taking off is you stepping into your confidence is you loving yourself point blank period people don't understand that and i try to say it all the time but these cards literally just line it just it's a lineup here okay you want love we have the angel of soul love here time to look at how you value yourself issues of self-love and we have the strength card reversed it just it, come on can't make it up can't make it up and you have to accept it and that's okay that's okay but this is a t uh this full moon is really going to be like heightening this your issues that you have with yourself and your healing give yourself the grace and the space to heal and grow and to step into your power and when you do you're gonna have multiple options you're gonna have fun you know, because I feel like you could be the type of person, especially if you have Leo in your chart, you know, you could be, I don't like to date, but you could be the type of person that likes to date and just likes to, you know, um, you know, like, um, entertain or have fun with on, on a, you know, flirtatious or romantic level with multiple people you like to date. Um, and so, but even your, it's like, you might, you might not want to get, um, you might not want to have a serious level of commitment right now today but even when you, when you start to step into your power just your um dating life is going to get better because you're going to be um you know dating people who are on a higher vibration you're going to be dating people who have confidence and aren't you know there's there's a proper way to date you can do it you don't have to date you know your dating life doesn't have to live from the ego you can meet people who you know know themselves who are 
um, you know, who have self-love, who have confidence, who have power and, and can move with that in, you know, in the right way. Um, okay, that's what I'm feeling. Because you might need to do that. You might need to, you know, like, do that before you get to that higher level of commitment. Just so that you can, you know, like, it's only going to help you explore yourself more and explore what you want and what you don't want. I'm just putting that out there for some of you that want that. If Even if you just want to find that one person, you're still needing to step into your confidence and then... I li I'm literally seeing, you know, like that person just show up. They're just going to show up because Cupid's arrows have striked because your energy is attracting that into your life. Okay. Um, this reading is literally already 13 minutes. I feel like that was good enough. I kind of want to clarify just like who this person is going to be. Um, in your love life, um, like, who is this romance? Maybe they have Leo in your chart. And then I did say I was going to clarify the trickery, but I feel like the Oracle, the wishy-washy hole already clarified that. Oh my. Okay. That's a lot. That's a lot of drama. Okay, that's a lot of drama. Okay, so you could be having like, I just feel like the, with the Eight of Wands, um, there's definitely someone here that like deals with a lot of people. Okay, and how all those cards came out. So, let's see. And I saw the Emperor. So, it could be talking to a masculine energy right now. And yeah, I feel like I've been talking to a masculine energy the whole time, but... Anyway, um, tell me about this Eight of Wands for Pile 2. Tell me about this Eight of Wands for Pile 2, please. What is this Eight of Wands for Pile 2? What is this Eight of Wands for Pile 2? Please clarify the Eight of Wands. I feel like I need to shuffle because I'm not getting anything. about the okay we have the star card okay so like i said before with the dating thing take that if it resonates if it doesn't okay whatever either way you're going to be in alignment this person could be um an aquarius um that you meet but this person is definitely going to be your per like the person that comes in you're just going to know you're just going to know this is going to be your person you guys you know this is all in the stars it's already written this is your person you have a soul contract with this your per with this person this is going to be your soulmate yes yes yeah so you can trust that when you do the work you're going to attract someone romantically. You're going to attract your person when you do the work. You're going to attract your person and people that are meant to be in your life. Okay? Okay? This person, yes, you're going to marry this person. And I'm seeing, like, you're going to meet in an unexpected way. You might have had thought all your life, like, okay, this is how I'm going to meet my person. But I feel like it's going to be unexpected. It could be someone, actually, that you've met before or that you actually know already for some of you. All right, but yes, that is your just the star card the future. Yes, your future is destined. It's a line This person is going to help you even heal more. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're meeting your divine feminine with your with that star card Um, because they're going to have a great healing energy about them. They're also going to be very like Ambitious a little bit outspoken very much a character with that Aquarius energy Okay, that's all I have for you, Pile 2. Love you. Bye. Hi, Pile 3. Last but not least, Pile 3 or Card 3. If you guys chose this card, let's get into it. Oh my gosh, you guys chose love. Wow. Wow. It says, Aphrodite, I call to thee. To bring a true love here to me. Wow. 
let's see the overall energy oh shit the, the overall energy <laughs> is the fox though i'm getting you could be some oh my god loki go away you could be someone of high honor um because this is giving me the energy of a lot of people want you but you don't want a lot of people okay um even if even if you haven't even um reached your prime yet you are someone of high honor you have high spiritual rank but i am for some of you you could already you know be um very wealthy very successful um but the overall energy is the fox for you but you chose the love card uh there's like a there's a conflicting energy here now i am gonna say this some of you may want one thing but are moving in a completely different way your your thoughts your feelings your emotions have to align with your actions all right let's get into it oh you guys have the owl as your spirit animal this is blessing this is um wow this is very lovely very lovely i do feel like what you're wanting you're gonna get it you're gonna get it because i'm talking to someone who's very much aligned very much aware okay very much awakened so let's read what the owl energy is all about mm, this is like one of my favorite cards We have Al. Abundance, clairvoyant, and treasures. The owl is a mysterious and otherworldly creature found in folklore from east to west. The white owl in this particular deck is the companion of the goddess Lakshmi and represents wealth, beauty, and good fortune. When the owl card appears, it's an omen that a boon or treasure is on the way, either in spiritual or material form. With owl wisdom on your side, you'll see and know exactly what to do with this boon, how it can further serve your dharma and bring abundance to the world. Trust that the wellspring of treasures is infinite. When in balance, this energy is generous, trusting, and secure. When out of balance, this energy um, has money quarrels and is scarce, scarcity. All right, to bring into balance and offering. All right, that's beautiful, pile three. I was, I don't know why I wasn't expecting this. You could be even a little, maybe like, um, um, a little, um, lack, there's a lack of trust here. Okay, I feel in your own power but we're stepping into that i'm here to confirm this is you this is your energy we have changed 555 yeah like of all the there's a lot of major changes happening for you like you could very well much be this fox you could have very much be a person who like you like like you don't know the old you anymore you don't want to know the old you anymore you're moving into bigger and better things i'm also getting people are after your intellect people are after like you have a very like i said in the beginning you're high honored you are and so people just like or they're like piranhas they're the they, they don't want you to win they don't want you to fly they don't want you to bloom okay so it's important to protect your energy tenfold at this time major changes are happening for you you could be seeing five 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 we have faith you're needing to have faith like i said a lack there's a lack of trust you could be um, someone who has anxiety or you fear. There's a lot of fears here. There's a lot of fear-based thoughts. Living more from the ego. Like you may have, you know, you may be moving away from your ego. Having an ego death. Um, releasing a lot of fear-based thoughts and um, things like that. And um, yes. Changing the way that you view the material world. Okay, changing the way that you attract your abundance. You're knowing that you can't have anything if you don't have faith. You can't have anything if you don't keep God first. We have divination. Again, stepping more into your spirituality here. Recognizing that you are a spiritual being. Recognizing that you are connected to source. 
We have Angel of Joyfulness, Something Wondrous and Magical is about to happen for you, Pile 3. This is really amazing. Like, I'm feeling an energy of, like, you are not the same person that you were years ago. You're not the same person that you were yesterday. You are truly evolving and growing into the highest version of yourself. But you, you are different, Pile 3. You're very much different than the people that are around you, than the people in your family. Your path may be a path never traveled before or traveled um, less often, okay? My camera is about to die, so I'm just going to run it until it dies. We have Virgo energy contemplation. You could have Virgo in your chart. We have the Eight of Pentacles and we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is the time for you to, you're building your wealth. That's why people are like, I don't know, they're just not wanting you to win. You're really, you're like, you're, you're, oof. I don't know what came over you. This full moon energy is about to activate the, the hustler in you. This full moon energy is about to activate just wisdom. You, you are connecting to infinite intelligence. We have a white rabbit here. And I was watching actually a video this morning. And there was a um, look up a white rabbit symbolism. But this is, I believe it's about um, blessings and fortune and good luck. Okay, so just mul so many confirmations on the abundance and blessings. The eight of pentacles is you focusing like clockwork on your craft on what you're skilled at having a healthy routine and the seven of pentacles is you're not letting up you're not letting up and anyone who has this type of spirit you're also working like you're also not neglecting yourself you're also like it's all done in a very healthy way you're focused on your diet and nutrition you're focused on your physical body you're focused on your spiritual body you're focused on your mental it's all in alignment here hi my loves why did my camera have to die like that that was so rude and then like the angle is probably a different angle than before because I move my camera and everything like that so I'm sorry if the angle is worse than before but whatever so let's get back into your reading pile three I was like such on a roll so you're plotting you've been like you you I just feel like you have changed the trajectory of your life because you're connecting to love the strongest force in the universe you're really connecting to your soul and connecting to this love frequency and so i don't know if you already have like you already kind of been working on something but now you're about to go full force with it or if you're completely creating something new and you're not gonna let up like this is an energy of clockwork until you like really get rich and get wealthy and see the uh return on your investment that you're wanting um but yeah like as i was saying you know and this could be also um with the fox there's gonna be people maybe even like distractions like you're gonna want to go out you're gonna want to i don't know get distracted in some way people might be trying to distract you no cutting off all distractions because something amazing is really about to happen for you and you're creating this change you are the creator also i was noting this divination card like you're needing to tap more into um some sort of divination even you watching tarot tarot is divination some of you guys might have your own cards and you need to get more into that practice okay tapping more into your faith um you know having a uh um a practice a spiritual practice right um it really sucks because i was really on a roll whenever the camera cut off um but you're perfecting your craft here you are scaling your business okay oh yes this is what i'm getting i feel like you're going to be presenting something to someone like you could pre be presenting some sort of business deal you're with the Virgo energy don't just like per you're needing to perfect this thing with the Sun card in reverse coming out you're actually needing to perfect something before you present it to an investor or something like that um, okay um, 
I'm going to clarify these cards and then that is going to be your reading pile three. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Clarifying um, Goddess Chang O, which is the Hermit card. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Hierophant. You're learning so much about yourself, which in turn is helping you create financial wealth helping you create stability you're really going towards your north node here you could have taurus in your chart as well um there's a higher level of commitment you're having in regards to your life how you're showing up in your daily life is more loyal more dependable more honorable Okay, wasn't I saying? This is what I'm saying. You guys are highly honored here. And you have the divine, the support of the divine on your side. You have people, you have earth angels here on your side. Like every day, I'm just getting, you're so protected. You're so respected, okay? Your ancestors are really proud of you. Keep going. Keep going. What you're doing could be something that like your ancestors once did. Like it's actually in your bloodline. We have Pisces energy on the back of the deck going through a huge, this is a huge transformation. A huge awakening that you're having and really stepping into your power here, pile three. So I really, I commend you. This is beautiful energy. And things are changing for you and it is going to be uncomfortable, but it's for your best interest. It truly is for your best interest, okay? Let's clarify this Eight of Pentacles for Pile 3, okay? So, yes, you are going to be successful, okay, with the Queen of Pentacles. Whatever you're plotting, whatever you're creating, whatever ideas you're having, yes. Maintain this energy. Carry yourself like the Queen of Money, like the Queen of Pentacles. Carry yourself like you already have manifested these things. We have the Queen of Cups reverse light. There's a lack of, like I was, I remember me saying in the beginning, a lack of trust in your own divinity. Needing to have more faith, tapping more and and maintaining this spiritual hygiene, this spiritual practice is going to help you be more confident. Because I feel like there's like you could be. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys or if it was somebody else. I apologize, um, but um, you guys could feel a lack of confidence because your path is one less traveled or never traveled before that doesn't mean it's wrong it's just new and so you don't really it's like you you are your own guide you and source that's why you're so you're so um supported angelically and through the spirit realm because um yeah i feel like you're doing we have number one you could be a life path number one like me you could be a life path number one but this love this love card is represented by the number one you could have a birthday on the first you could have a birthday on the first this month you know i feel like is an initiation into your glory okay um yes okay but you are on the right path you're on the right path pile three okay let's clarify the seven of pentacles for pile three and we have the lovers reversed wow some of you guys could be in separation from um your lover and um from your soulmate from your from your person you could have a twin could you could be on a twin flame journey but i feel like you're in separation from your person and um i feel like you working on yourself you're about to like however this part like however you were however your life was when you first met this person or when you had a relationship with this person in the future like it's like this energy of you're going to be like well look at this like there's this energy of or maybe you you become so like you gain actual fame and this person is actually going to see you like on tv or on a billboard or something like that or online and it's just going to be like your abundance your wealth your craft your art your success is really going to literally like just be in this person's face like well that's what you missed out on or you know it's just like an energy of but i don't, it's not a miss out because i do feel like you guys are gonna come back together but it's an energy of you know like kind of like proving this person wrong whatever they maybe once did think about you it's it's kind of like a, a nice slap in the face it's kind of just like 
you know your success is just proving people wrong people that doubted you people that like want you know once hated you like because i'm like let's get some more i do feel like you're going to reunite with this person you are going to marry this person you are going to come into reconciliation with this person i don't see this is like in the foreseeable future whoever you have in mind i'm needing to let you know this is your person but i'm also needing to let you know it's like you you working on yourself like this person is noticing and you're this person sees you in a completely different light like I was saying, I don't think I finished that thought. But however your life was when you were with this person is going to be completely different once, like, once you blow up or once your creation is out and shown into the world or just once you really show the world, you know, who you are and what you're working on type of thing. Um, tell me about this lover's reverse what's this lovers reverse and this person could be working on themselves just as you are working on yourself okay um yeah we have the devil here okay this person is you know releasing their ego they're going through an ego death they're releasing unhealthy attachments okay whatever that might be they're cutting their losses they're look we have virgo energy here um yeah this person is going to return but once they focus once they work on themselves once they work on themselves as you have worked on yourself pile three gemini energy here okay virgo energy on the back of the deck here more more virgo energy all right mastering their thoughts mastering who they are okay this is the like the most powerful energies in the tarot and life is the love. We have the lovers here, which is what you're reading is all about love. And then we have the devil's counterpart cards. You have to choose love. You can't you can't choose the ego that's not going to sustain. All right. So I do hope that that resonated, um, that helped you, gave you clarity, guidance. Let me know that you guys chose pile three. I'm going to leave you with the Moonology Oracle. And again, I truly apologize for my camera dying because I feel like that kind of messed up the flow a little bit. But that's okay. Everything happens for a reason. We have you're very close to achieving your goal. And we, excuse me, we have stepped out of your comfort zone, North Node Energy. I was talking about that. It is going to be uncomfortable. Stepping out of your comfort zone, you're very close to achieving your goal pile three. I love you. Beautiful blessings to you. See you. Bye. Happy full moon.